brakes on my car are very grabby. Um, I've already replaced the front brakes and it's quite a bit better, but the rears need adjusted um, and cleaned up. And the condition of them is just fine. It looks like this side's on correctly. Um, I didn't do these, somebody else did, and I don't know if they're uh, factory brakes or not. Let me clean them off and see how, how they are. But they definitely need adjusted, so I'm going to show you that uh, today. Clean it off and don't, don't breathe any of this stuff. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to clean that. Well, that brake dust gets in there and actually makes it want to squeak. This is called cleaning and adjusting your brakes. If you go down to the brake um, brake shop or the auto repair shop, uh, they charge you about, I'd say about a hundred bucks to do this. And pretty much they just do this. Um, and then they throw the drum on there. I'm going to show you how to do it the right way. Okay, so there's four contact points here on these. So right here, this is all gonna touch the backing plate. You can actually see right there how there's a little rust. A little rust in there. So there's one here, there's one here. Um, and then on the other side, there's one here um, there's one here again, and then there's one down here at the bottom. So what I want to do, I want to go ahead and just like lift this up and put just a tiny bit of grease right on the uh, mounting point where it actually touches metal to metal. So you'll do that here, here, and then at the bottom, at the bottom, here, and here. All right, so I'm gonna use some brake lube and I'm gonna use this brush to get into those small little points right there. Be careful not to get any on the brake shoe. Although if you do, you can use brake clean to clean it before you're done. And on these, we're gonna do a quick little um, sandpaper job on the pads. We have a spot here on the bottom, metal to metal. I'm just gonna get that up there, do that. Come around to the other one here. And let me go ahead and get that while we're here. And then we'll do that for the other two here. So here we are, we had, we got all our points lubed up. Our next step is we're gonna put some brake clean on a rag and then we're gonna clean off all that excess um, lubricant I put on there. Next, we're gonna deglaze the shoes. So what I have here is some 80 grit sandpaper and I'm just going to take the sandpaper and just clean up these pads a little bit. I want to rough them off. I want to get that glazing material off of there. So I just want to lightly sand them and then if there was any kind of oil or dirt or anything like that Get that off also. So 
and we're just lightly sanding. We're just getting the top little layer of brake material off. So that's what it looks like when it it's done. Now we'll do we'll do the other side here. So here we are. Now when when, when we're done with this, we're just gonna clean those shoes off with a little brake clean. I've been doing this stuff for 30 years. I know what works. So now we're going to clean it off a little bit. go we're gonna work on the uh, the drum so we want to do the same thing we want to clean this with brake clean and then we want to sand it after that we're gonna put them on and adjust them so let's do that now do this maybe for about five minutes just Rough it up a little all the way around, nice and even. So on this one, there's no grooves. Um, if it was grooved, you'd have to go ahead and get that turned. But on this one, as you can see, it looks pretty good. There you go, it's time to adjust the brakes now. Um, we'll adjust the brakes next. So now if we get down into here, so this wheel is your brake adjustment. So what we want to do is we want to turn the wheel so these brake shoes expand a little bit. So step one, you need to take your drum, put it on, and you want to spin it. So there's on this, there's no drag. What we need is we need to feel drag when we do it. Here's how we're going to do it. First off, I'm just going to take my brake lube and I'm going to put it on here. That way, when I put this on and off, it goes on and off nice and easy. So, that's step one. So you can see exactly what's going on. So I'm pushing these out. What that's going to do is it's going to push the uh, brake shoes outward and it's going to cause a little drag. So we did about five clicks. So let's, let's see where we're at. And put this on. Oh, still needs to go more. So these were these were like way out of adjustment. So we're gonna go ahead and go maybe four more. One, two, three, four. I, think I feel it. Yeah, see, now it's a little bit tight. So, too tight. So now we need to back up. We got to push this outward so it'll go. So, so I'm going to go through here and I'm going to pull that outward. And I went four. Let's go back two of them. There we go. And then we'll try it again. So, right now I'm feeling a little drag, and that's perfect. So at this point, we're done. Those are adjusted properly. It's clean. Um, the pads are clean. 
Okay, so the last step is to go ahead and just torque the wheels to 80 foot-pounds. All right, so I'm out road testing the car. Um, the brakes couldn't feel better now. Um, every time I stop here, nice and smooth, not grabby. The rears are grabbing just as much as the front. Uh, just a perfect scenario. So once again, if you watch my video, follow my steps, you're gonna save yourself hundreds of dollars. Uh, thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Um, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks a lot.